What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to talk about Tesla's advanced battery research efforts and how they could be tying into an academic group known as the Battery 500 Consortium. So the Battery 500 Consortium was a group founded in 2016 by the Department of Energy, um, basically with this goal to research advanced battery materials, combine all these different academics and push the limit on what the lithium ion battery could do. Um, they were going to fund it for 10 million a year, up to five years. They were involving people like Brookhaven National Labs, Idaho National Laboratory, Binghamton University, University, Stanford, University of California, San Diego, University of Texas, Austin, Washington. So a bunch of like all the leading academics in lithium ion research were getting together to push the envelope on what this technology could do. Well, now we just 10 days ago uh, got an update on this. I actually found out about it today from Shirley Meng, who is a researcher um, from UC San Diego involved in the Battery 500 Consortium, who's been rumored to be working with Tesla. She has a lot of tweets about Tesla. Um, she also uh, has her work and research has been partnered with Maxwell Technologies, um, the company that Tesla acquired. Um, so there's lots of rumors about that. But anyway, she recently tweeted this update about the Battery 500 uh, project saying they're really excited about the progress they've made um, and that they're pleased to announce that in the first two years of the program, the consortium has made significant progress developing novel cell materials and integrating these materials into industry-relevant pouch cells. At the beginning of the program, a lithium metal pouch cell delivered 300 watt hours per kilogram. Uh, that's like the energy efficiency of the battery, but only cycled approximately 10 times. If you can only recharge and discharge a battery 10 times, it's not actually very practical. So they're working on scaling that. And they say currently the team has increased the energy density to 350 watt hours per kilogram and extended the cycle life to more than 350 cycles. Specifically, they developed new electrolytes with enhanced stability against lithium metal, optimized the use of thick cathodes against a thin lithium foil and applied cell stack pressure to extend cycling life. Recent research on even thicker cathodes and more stable electrodes shows a vast of 500 watt hours per kilogram of cell. Current focus include increasing rate uh, capability and extending cycle life. Um, then they have this really cool charge. So basically what they're saying is this technology that was 300 watt hours per kilogram efficiency, 10 cycle lives, they've up to 350 and 350 cycles. Not quite near commercializing into an electric vehicle, but really big progress. And they do say that the current status quo of the industry is about 220 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. I think Tesla's rumored to be more closer to 260. They also say the industry standard cost is around under $200 per kilowatt hour. I think Tesla's getting more closer to $100 per kilowatt hour. So it's interesting to see those industry benchmarks and know that Tesla's ahead of them. Um, but I think there's like, I don't know, when I read this news, like, I, I don't think this is happening in isolation. I don't know if this is Tesla's new battery cell or their new battery technology they're working on, but I have to think that Tesla's involved because when I was looking into, you know, what this uh, project was they're doing, the Battery 500 uh, Consortium and what they were using to actually do these tests and run everything, in one of these PDFs I found um, on one of the pages, they talk about the electrode architecture and they say that in these NMC cathode cells, which I believe is what um, is in the Tesla cars today, um, Shirley Meng is wor working on examining the electrode performance and these electrodes are provided by Maxwell Technologies. So Maxwell was actually a battery or hardware provider for this project. So I don't know, there's so many connections here swirling and The Limiting Factor, who's an awesome YouTube channel um, and a guest that I've had on the show, um, brought up this image. I don't know how he found it, but it's in one of his videos. I put it in mine, which shows who's actually in the battery consortium people-wise. And you have Shirley Bang. You also had JB Straubel. You also had John Goodenough, who was the original inventor of the lithium ion battery who came out with this new breakthrough technology a couple years ago that people have been speculating uh, Tesla could be working on. Another really like sort of weird, interesting clue is that if you look at the chart of Maxwell commercializing their dry battery electrode, their efficiency timeline and table is almost exactly the same as the commercialization ramp of the Battery 500 Consortium. They say they have completed a proof of concept at 300 watt hours per kilogram, scaling to 350, but in the long run saw the potential to hit a 500 watt hours per kilogram, uh, you know, target with this technology. That's exactly what the goal of the Battery Consortium is, is they validated at 300, or originally validated at 300, now they validate at 350, they're allowed to talk about it, and this soon they scale, they think they can scale it to 500, which is exactly the you know, commercialization watt hour per kilogram efficiency of these Maxwell cells that Tesla purchased. So I have to think there's some collaboration here. I have to think Tesla's involved somehow. Um, and I think this is technology that's probably like years away from actually getting in a car or any consumer vehicle. Um, but it is really interesting that, you know, they're able to talk about it and are pushing the envelope forward and are achieving these numbers of 350 cycles and 350 watt hours per kilogram. So I kind of want to make this video to open source, you know, and really highlight this Battery 500 Consortium and how cool of a project it is, like, you know, that the government is leading this initiative to push forward advanced lithium ion research. But then the second layer to that is, is Tesla involved? J.B. Straubel is a part of this. You know, Maxwell's hardware is being used for it. Shirley Meng uh, also got a grant to 
commercialize some technology with Maxwell back in 2018, also from the Department of Energy. Is that involved in this? John Goodenough and his new breakthrough, is that involved? I also have put out in previous videos about Maxwell that one of the largest institutional shareholders of Maxwell who I talked to, who talked to Maxwell's management team before they were acquired by Tesla, said that Maxwell's management team was like, yeah, Shirley Meng, John Goodenough, and Maxwell were all working together to commercialize the next generation cell. That's what Tesla's interested in. That's what they bought us. And to me, I'm like, Maxwell, John Goodenough, and Shirley Meng all working together is the Battery 500 Consortium. So you tell me. I need your help. YouTube, Hyperchangers, let me know what's up. We're scheming on Battery Day. Leave it in the comments below. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, funding the channel. And congrats to Shirley Meng and everyone involved in the Battery 500 Consortium for, for this awesome work and commercializing this technology. Pumped on that progress. See y'all next time. Peace.